This playthrough is rated T for Teen. Greetings and salutation, viewers. Voldemort back here with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. In the last episode, we finished uh, some of the minor details in Tatooine, except for the swoop races, which I had trouble with, and like a minor side quest from, Mich uh, from Mission's Brothers Grip, which we'll get uh, to eventually. For now, we gotta finish talking to the rest of our companions before we go to the next star map of the game. I think I've done most of Karth's storyline, but let's talk to him and see if there's anything he can tell us. Yes, what's on your mind? Uh, what do you know about Tatooine? I don't know if Tatooine's I asked you before. Tatooine's just a desert planet. I hear the mining isn't going so well. I bet the colony gets abandoned before long. Well, that's all I can think of, at any rate. I really should do these conversations with people at the beginning of the planet instead of after, because it'd be more poignant, but... Anyway, uh, why? tell me, why do you want revenge on Saul so badly? I already told you, he betrayed us all. It just seems to be more personal than that, uh, is all. Well, there, there is more to it. I'm, I'm sure you don't want to hear about it. Well, I wouldn't have taught to you if I didn't care, or at least if I didn't want this seed of story to be told to me. Uh, I do, if that's all right with you. It's just that I don't talk about it very much, okay? I told you about my homeworld, Telos. Four years ago, Saul led the Sith fleet there and demanded its surrender. The planet refused, and Saul proceeded to devastate its entire surface. Millions died. I had a, a, a wife and a son on Telos. I thought they would be safe there, but my task force arrived too late to be of much help. We, we didn't have enough medical supplies. The colony was, was burning and the dying were everywhere. I remember holding my wife and screaming for the medics, but the, the, they didn't come in time. Oh, wow. He lost his wife and uh, son. I could see why he's like, got this pent-up rage against Saul. Man, sorry to hear that. That's terrible. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Of course not. How could you? I, I, mean, I had nothing left after that, really. I, I devoted myself to the fleet. Hunting Saul was my only purpose. I, I miss them. And I know killing Saul won't bring them back. And, I, and it won't make me happy again, but I, I have to do it. I don't expect you to understand, but I have to pay him back for what he's done. I have to. It's all I have left. Well, I I think I understand because I mean, yeah, he know and he knows perfectly well won't bring him back, but he still needs to to get justice. You know, he still the guy needs to pay in some form. If not death, he needs to be caught or something. So it's understandable they at least wants him to pay for what he's done. Uh, what was she like, your wife? She had courage. And and she was stubborn. Could never talk her out of anything once she put her mind to it. And she hated it when I signed back onto the fleet at the start of the war. Now I had planned on on leaving soon to join her. I I think if you're female, that you get some interesting conversations here as the female Jedi, just to let you know. Basically, Karth is the romanceable uh, is the romantic interest if you're a female Jedi. If you want to do that, you don't have to, but there's options there. Uh, what happened to your son? You didn't say. His name was Dustal, and I don't know what happened to him. The colony was a complete ruin, and we never found any trace of him. I made inquiries and followed the reports from Telos for years, but I stopped. Anyway, I hope that answers your questions. Let's, uh, let's continue with what we were doing. Huh. So you never found your son, huh? Well, if I've read any books or stories... Unless we've seen the dead body, he's out there somewhere. What happened in this story? Who knows? Hey, Bastila, what's up? How can I help? We haven't talked in a while. I mean, well, you had that talk to me before because you forced it upon me. But I don't want to talk more about you. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, she doesn't have anything about the planet, so uh, I'd like to know more about you, Bastila. Yes, I suppose I can understand your curiosity given the bond that connects us. Very well. I'll tell you a bit about myself. Uh, tell me how you joined the Jedi, then. I was found to be strong with the Force at a young age, as most Padawans are. As a girl, I was given to the Order to be trained. When I joined the Order, I left my family on Tal Ravan, as all Padawans do. My family is still there, the last that I heard. I've had little contact with them, as it is discouraged. So basically, the Jedi say, Hey, we don't want you to have any uh, family entanglements, so please... You know, drop everything that made you who you are and and join the Jedi Order. Yeah, that doesn't cause any issues later on. Discouraged? Why? 
Relationships with family members are fraught with powerful emotions. Such extremes are to be avoided. Anger and hate are the worst. But even love can lead to folly. <laughs> that sounds idiotic. No. <coughs> you aren't allowed to love? Man, <laughs> that's why I'm not Jewish. They're not allowed to eat bacon or have shellfish. I kid, I kid. I'm a Gentile. They... They wouldn't want me anyway. No, uh, you aren't allowed to love? Emotional entanglements can be dangerous. They can impair rational thought. They can lead to outbursts of uncontrolled emotion. A Jedi must be above such things. Well then how do you, like, how do the Jedi, I mean, yeah, the Force is like, they're supposed to be this living entity. I mean, oh yeah, I guess the Force doesn't really... Well, that's kind of weird, because, okay, they... In the, in stories, they're like, well, how could Jedi pass on their powers or family has ties to the force without children but people explain hey the force is a living thing it just gives it to random people you know to give them destinies yet a lot of books and stories still have when children of force sensitive people who are really powerful also have force sensitivity are really powerful so I'm not sure which is true so it's almost like well might as well have love and have children and, and continue the force I don't know just you don't sound very convinced it can be a hard lesson to learn. I was not on good terms with all of my family, but I do remember missing my father terribly for a long time. Uh, <laughs> you and your father were close? Very close. I was only a little girl when I left my family, but I still remember him fondly. He was kind and gentle and doted on me. My mother, however, was different. I was not on good terms with my mother. I was only a little girl when I left, but I was old enough to resent her and the way she treated my father. She pushed my father into treasure hunting. I spent all my young life on ships, traveling from one false lead to the next. She whittled away my father's entire fortune, and I hated her for it. I think she was relieved to give me to the Jedi, but my father was heartbroken. Yeah, at least it's nice to have a story where where the father isn't the isn't the the major a-hole that most stories make them out to be so i don't know it's a nice change of pace not that that makes it any better that what happened to her family but you know you never tried to get in touch with their father did? the child is too young to understand the sacrifices that must be made it's better if they have no contact with their family once they're removed once i was older i realized the wisdom of this policy a jedi must do what is needed personal desires notwithstanding love could only obscure and confuse the matter you say i'm very sad when you say it, but but if a jedi were to love surely it wouldn't be all bad even a jedi cannot always control the feelings of the heart we must do our best to guard against it no matter what the cost but some sacrifices are harder than others I, I do not wish to discuss this anymore. I would rather return to our mission. Hmm. Apparently the talk of love makes her a bit uh, squeamish. I wonder why. Oh, well. We talked to everyone once. I might do that again, but uh, time for a little bit of plot as we make our way to the next planet. Uh, Manon. I'm going to do Manon, and I always say Korban for last. Uh, if you're playing, you can... If you're playing this and you want to play... There's really no specific order to really play these. You could do Corbin first if you really wanted to. I just save it for last because of the story implications and where it is and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, I like... Uh, and we're going to go to uh, Manan, one of my... One of the more interesting planets to go to in the game. So, uh, Terrain, Worldwide Ocean, Native Species, Selkath, Docking Bay, City, Vatu. Let's go. Kalonord is dead, Lord Malik. He has failed in his mission. Forgive me. The penalty for failure is death, Admiral Karath. But the failure was Kalonor's, not yours. You may rise. Shall I hire another bounty hunter, Lord Malik? No mere bounty hunter can stand against a Jedi. I shall not make the same mistake again. My apprentice, Darth Bandon, 
She'll take care of our young Jedi friend. Find Bastila and bring her to me, alive if possible. As you command, Master. You felt it, yes? Another vision? The Force cont continues to work through us, showing us the star maps unearthed by Revenant Malak. It is strange that anyone would have built a star map here. The entire surface of Manan is covered by nothing but vast o oceans. It looked like the star map was underwater. The ocean floor is vast, and much of it is uncharted, even by the native Selkarth. But how could Revan and Malak have found their way down? No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Hmm. Well, looks like we're on to the ocean planet. Who's up for seafood? I mean, anyway, Karth, how's up? Yes. What's on your mind? Let's ask you about. Let's ask you about the planet before we uh, before we go on, shall we? Manan's a neutral world. They're the only source of Kulto, the healing fluid. And they use that to remain free from both the Republic and the Sith. Well, that's all I can think of, at any rate. Well, thank you, Garth. You got it. I probably won't use you on this planet either, even though you're one of the best characters in the game to use. How can I help? Seriously, I said it uh, many times before, but. Uh, then I suggest. Actually, before we talk to her, let's go and save it. I. The reason I'm kind of—I think I might talk to everyone again—is because after we do the third, after we do the third star map location, some things change in the story. So I kind of want to—I don't want to miss out on certain things before we get to. How can to I it. help? Uh, you wish to talk to me? I do. I've been watching you, studying you closely to see what kind of progress you've made since your training at the hands of Master Zar. Which was shown in a montage, so we didn't actually get to see us training. Uh. <laughs> Mike Frogus, what you've been reading? I think we both know the real reason you've been watching me. You never give up, do you? I admit, I'm interested in you. I find you intriguing, compelling even, but it's not what you think. You have a great gift. You have an awesome command of the Force. And I tremble when I think of how you might misuse it. I, <laughs> I make you tremble? Do you get all tingly inside too? What? No, of course not. Not like that, anyway. In many ways, you are... You are dangerous. You could be the savior of the galaxy. Or you could bring untold destruction upon us all. I've seen how you've resisted many temptations and continue to walk the path of the light side. Very commendable. 
but I'm afraid you might stray from this path. You need to see what the dark side represents in its entirety, for it is what we battle. Only the wisdom of a Jedi Master can truly explain this, but I will do my best to make you understand. It's so much fun to, to uh, tease Bastila. <laughs> what are you trying to tell me? The dark side is not simply giving in to anger, or temptation, or to use the force to destructive ends. These things only lead to the dark side. The dark side grows stronger and more insidious the closer you draw to it. It begs you to surrender to it, to release all its terrible power, and it becomes harder and harder to resist. And once you stop resisting, it's too late. It twists you up inside and turns you into a mockery of everything you once stood for. That's why this is, that's why Dark Side has the best powers, by the way. Uh stop with the dragon. <laughs> Uh, you seem to know that temptation very well. I am no less resistant to temptation than any other. I simply have the benefit of training that you do not. But even the training of the Jedi might not be enough to save us. We need only to look at the atrocities which have been committed by those under its sway to understand the terrible, corrupting evil of the dark side. Millions dead, and far more suffering. What sort of person would you have to become to perform such deeds gladly? Quite a nasty person. Uh, are you saying the light side is innocent of killing? Uh, I couldn't see myself ever doing such things. Well, not in this playthrough, no. That is why the dark side is so insidious. If you are not careful, you do not even see each small step you take towards it until it's too late. It's so easy to think that we would never fall prey to such a horror, that we have unlimited control, vigilance, and foresight. If only that were true. The Sith have become powerful because there are many Jedi who've succumbed to the lure of the dark side and joined their cause. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause, to use their own knowledge against them? We are weakened while they are strengthened, so we must harden our hearts and do whatever is required to fight against the dark side, even when the battle becomes wearying. Do we must do whatever is required, such as... I don't know. The vision of our future is clouded by shadows cast from the dark side. But I sense something ominous lurking in those shadows. But words alone cannot save one from the dark side. Come, we should continue with the task at hand. When the time comes, I only hope we are all strong enough to do what we must. Hmm. She talks about shadows. Is she talking about a literal foresh- or f literal slash figurative foreshadowing? Eh, it's hard to say. How can I help? You got any other, uh... See, I think. Okay, we're good and on I now. We I know there should be at least be one major conversation we should have with her before the end of the plan. So, which I'll do when we go back to the ship. I want to talk to HK before we go to Manon, mainly because I want to get his, uh, because his story also is affected after we finish the third planet. So, I want to at least try to repair him as much as I can before we leave. So let's see. I want to save in that spot. Yeah, I'm trying. I'll, I'll I'll get to Manon uh, shortly. Just like I said, I'm trying to get these little bits out of the way before I forget. So, gotta get him down soon. Otherwise, we will never get to him. Statement: HK47 is ready to serve, Master. I think I'm able to repair him one more time at my current skill level. Affirmative. Let's see. Request. I only ask. Yeah, yeah. Let's get started. He repeats himself multiple times. Statement. Okay. And now rewire the last three relays. Yes, good. Well done, Master. I believe your operation was a success. Accessing new memory. Access complete. I have accessed information on my owner prior to the Senator, Master. Most unexpected. Uh, what now, HK? Answer. It appears that previous to my ownership by the Senator, I was the property of one Bochaba the Hut on the planet Slaheron. Uh, it makes sense. At some point you would have been a Hut's guard. Uh, <laughs> so you're a gangster's assassin's droid. That makes sense. Did Hut the Hut's build you? And what gruesome fate awaited him? Objection. That is unfair, Master. While Bochaba may have died gruesomely, I most certainly had nothing to do with it. Well... Very little. Hmm. My memories tell me that, for a time, Bochaba was one of the most feared gangsters on Slaheron. I helped him with this reputation greatly. 
Over a span of one year, I terminated a grand total of 322 sentient meat bags. These contracts made Bochaba very wealthy. Yeah, he has quite a rap sheet, or quite a, quite a lot of notches on his gun. You sound proud of that carnage. Answer. That is correct, Master. I do enjoy my work. Though my past owners have enjoyed utilizing my functions far more. Strictly speaking, one meat bag is the same as another. Anything I do is in support of my master. It was unfortunate but inevitable that eventually Bochaba would overstep his bounds. I had just cleared two hut households when the exchange retaliated. Statement. I was not even present when my old master was assassinated. I did appreciate the artistry behind his demise upon my return, however. <laughs> so another master... Oh, wh why? How was he killed? Answer. Allow me to say that I have little doubt that residents of that sector were fishing pieces of bochaba out of their soup for weeks afterward. At any rate, I quickly shut down upon my master's death. The rival hut claimed me along with my master's other possessions. Observation. If that hut had only known my true function, he surely would not have sold me to a senator he bribed regularly. I kind of like HK's, like, store, like little stories because it just kind of shows you how far the rabbit hole, like, his trading goes. Like, him getting traded from one person to another. I don't know, I find that kind of interesting and funny at the same time. <laughs> I should dismantle you. And you would prefer to stay on Slaherod? Observation. It would have suited my character, Master. I have enjoyed my existence since, more or less. So, I do not miss it. Uh, you would have been found out eventually. Observation. No doubt, Master. It would have been a glorious battle to end my existence with. I would prefer that to rusting on a junk heap. Uh, I should dismantle you, man. Supplication. Please, Master, have I not pleased you? I cannot control the acts I have performed. Perhaps that is why memory is erased. At any rate, I act only as you instruct me, even if that means being non-violent. How does a robot gulp? What? How? <laughs> Never mind. How very self-sacrificing of you. Affirmation. HK-47 exists only to serve, Master. <laughs> oh, HK, that's why I like you. Do you remember anything else? Answer. Negative, Master. There is still more memory that can be restored, however, if you wish to try. As well, I believe I can restore several programs the Hut installed to improve my performance. Yes, they are now active. Contemplative. I wonder how many more dead masters I might have out there. A droid can live for a long time, you know. Uh, that's quite true. Because of our repairs, HK can now regenerate at a rate of one vitality point every six seconds in addition to his other abilities. So now HK is actually worth putting in battle. Now we don't have to worry about a... Uh, well, I mean, he'll still need repair kits, but he'll actually heal himself. It's awesome. So now he can. Now I don't have to worry about wasting re, uh, uh, repair kits on him if you want to. I think he has one more repair out of him. I think, if I remember correctly. Um, but I think that's it. And then we get the. And then we have to wait for the story to progress. But uh, all right, let's do HK and Jolie again. I'm sorry. I just like these two characters. Uh, if you play the game for yourself, try the try the other characters. That'll probably be a lot more effective. Like. Uh, Karth and Bastel, like I mentioned, or Karth and Zalbar. It's funny, I, I've built those guys up to be the perfect combat mas machines, but I'm not using them for ma uh, for a lot of the side stories this quest, though I will be using them for the end game stuff, because I kind of have to. It just makes the final area so much easier if you use your strongest fighters. I'll either use Karth and ba or Karth and uh, Zalbar, or Karth and Lichuhani. Uh, for the final bits of... Oh! Uh, no, I didn't mean to walk inside. Ah, you got me, game. You got me. I thought you were supposed to say okay before you walked inside. Uh, I'm not trying to waste time. I'm not doing it on purpose. I will have to... Uh, I'll try to, like, um, 
talk to my companions more while I'm on the planet than waiting to get back into Evan Hawk. So that way, it kind of, uh, uh, I kind of dole out a lot of the. So I dole out some of the story bits more than just action scene than pure story for like five episodes, you know, stuff like that, or or pure like side quest stuff. So I'll try to be a bit more. Uh, I'll try to like space it out a bit better in the future. I don't really have a plan when I do these types of play playthroughs initially because I've I'm pretty lazy when it comes to stuff like that. So it uh, um, uh, if I was if I was more prepared or if I actually put a lot more effort, I'd probably do uh, you know, like I try to plan how episodes end, where I want them to end, uh, you know, who I want to use for specific parts, have multiple save files for if I want to have see character reactions to specific scenes, you know, like stuff like that. Uh, but like I said, I'm too lazy. So I'll just, uh, I'll just enjoy the game as is. And hopefully this will get people a chance to try out the game for themselves. See what they think about it. I think it's a fantastic game personally, but I understand it's not for everyone. Is there any, uh, I don't think there's any, uh, treasure chest or anything like that in here. Really, probably the... No, uh, never mind. I was thinking probably the Jolie and HK f uh, group would be better if I had my... If I had my, uh... uh scoundrel, but that's not true, because Jolie is basically what my character would have been if i chosen the scoundrel pathway. So, that would be very unbalanced indeed. But yeah, welcome to Manon, the water planet. Hello. You Republic people are so pathetic, sitting around groveling the table scraps that the Galactic Senators deign to give you. It makes me sick. The Senators work for the good of the whole galaxy, not for individual gain. Ha! Don't make me laugh, you gutless simp. It's the destiny of weak-minded fools like you to be ruled over by the strong like we Sith. I'm warning you. Don't push me or you'll get just what you're asking for. Try it. Just try it. I'd love to see you throw the first punch. And with all the cameras around the Telcath would be all over you inside of 30 seconds. You break their laws. You pay the price, Republic scum. But I can see that you're not man enough to back up your words anyway. If you ever feel like relieving yourself of your worthless existence, feel free to come by our enclave here. We have many, many ways to fulfill your wish. <sighs> yeah, what are you... Oh, I apologize, Master Jedi. I should not have been rude. Why did the Sith upset you so much? Well, these damn Sith are everywhere on Manan, pushing us Republic citizens around, trying to goad us into breaking the law somewhere. Uh, why don't you run them off Manan? <laughs> the Sith and Republic coexisting peacefully? Well, relatively. Peacefully? <laughs> Not hardly. Just look in their eyes. You can see they'd like nothing more than to kill each and every one of us. Personal-like. Yeah, I know the feeling. Yeah, there's nothing we can do, though. The Selkath want to maintain their neutrality, and they enforce it very strictly. So, we just have to sit here and let the Sith insult us, and we can't raise a hand against them. Otherwise, the Republic will face severe Colto export restrictions, and that could lose us the war altogether. What is Colto? <laughs> You're joking, right? I'm sorry, but everyone knows what Colto is. It's the most powerful healing agent in the galaxy. I would have died several times myself if we didn't have this stuff handy. But the reason it's important here is that Colto is only found naturally on Manan, and all of our attempts to synthesize it have failed miserably. So we sit here on the surface, the Selkath harvesting what Colto bubbles up from the bottom of the ocean, and we buy it from them. Well, us and the Sith, of course. The Selkath don't want to play favorites. Sound like the Swiss. Oh, I'm just kidding. I don't know anything about the Swiss. The Republic and Sith both stay, both stay here? The Selkath think that by staying neutral, they can play both sides, selling Colto to everyone that needs it, and making themselves too valuable to be worth conquering. Well, that, and they threaten to destroy the only natural source of Colto on the planet if anyone tries to attack them. But 
but I think they're underestimating the length the Sith will go to to get what they want. They're probably planning something already. Is there anything else you require? Well, of course they are. It's a RPG, and the and they're the villains. So, uh, have you seen an ancient star map? A uh, star map? Like an ancient artifact or something? No, I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. Is there anything else I can do for you? Then what use are you, Sith Lightning? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, tell me about Auto City. Um, it's big. Real big. Actually, it's pretty much the only real city on the entire world. The only place for us air breathers, anyway. Manan is a water world, which you may have noticed on your way down to land here, inhabited natively by a species of fish people called the Selkath. They built this city to cater to us off-worlders and as a base of operations to export Colto, which is the only real thing they have to trade here. Uh, why haven't they joined the Republic? The Selkath think that. Oh yeah, we've already asked them well, that. Sorry, but I think they're. Is there yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think we're good with this. Thank you, sir. Never mind. Of course. If you have any other questions, you should probably see Roland Wan. He's the Republic diplomat here. He's by the Republic Enclave near the visitor residences. Oh, if you don't know where that is, go north from here, then south past the port official in the first courtyard, east into the second courtyard, then north, then east again. You got that? Have a pleasant stay, Master Jedi. No, I didn't write that down. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's still there. No, I'm just trying to make a joke. Yeah, it looks like this planet is a bit more political. Uh, it seems like the Sith and, uh, and the Republic have to have to basically just tolerate each other, otherwise the Selkath won't give them the culta they need to heal their soldiers in battle. Uh, sticky situation. Hopefully we don't get wrapped up into it. Spoiler! Yes, we will! Greetings, human, and welcome to Otto Seeker, our visitor's provisional staff. We are here to provide visitors with all manner of indigenous treats and produ products produced right here in Manan. We carry all manner of food and provisions and have contracts with resellers across the world to provide you, the customer, with the best shopping experience possible. How is it that Otto City Provisional comes to give you today? I was trying to do I was trying to do a deep voice, and then I'm like, well, he's a fish person, so I gotta do, like, a fishy voice, but I, don't, I can't do the, you know, the, you know... I could do the SpongeBob joke where it's like, <laughs> but anyway, uh, you don't have enough time. Let me check your inventory real quick. Of course, the Auto City Visitor Provisional Stand is here to service you, the customer. I could try to sound like Admiral Akbar while doing it. That's a trap. Uh, let's see, grenades, healing, adrenal stands, uh, basic stuff. Ah, uh, we're good. Well, it looks like we have our work cut out for us, as we're gonna have to try to. Or get our way to the star map without causing a, a, a situation between the Republic and the Sith. Can this light sided Jedi do that, or will we be caught up in the side quests and side stories that are attained to this place? Or we will just have a, a, a fish sandwich while we're, while we're at it. That won't piss off the locals, will it? Find out next time in the next episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. And may the Force be with you.